Hello, I'm Justin Bedica. I'm with BMAX Safety. Today I'm going to talk about adverse weather and driving conditions. We understand that drivers can be caught off guard by sleet, snow, freezing rain, or fog. Delaying your haul is a way such as struggling to find safe parking or reach your destination within your allowed hours. The FMCSA has an exemption drivers may use for unseen weather delays or other unplanned road or traffic conditions. Now you really need to emphasize on the words unseen weather delays. In today's world, everybody has a smartphone, computer, or TV with access to the weather. If it is stated weeks prior by the news, it is not an unseen event. It is an expected event, which will not be valid if you are trying to use adverse weather. If unexpected adverse driving conditions slow down your haul, you may, you may drive two extra hours to complete what you could have driven within normal conditions. Once again, adverse weather is something you could have not known about when you first started your haul. Even though you may drive two extra hours, you must not drive after the 14th consecutive hour of coming on duty. In shorter terms, there are four things you should ask yourself if you are unsure if you are qualified or not to use adverse weather. First, if you unexpectedly run into snow, sleet, rain, fog on a highway or road along with other unplanned road or traffic conditions. Second, your dispatcher was not and could not have been aware of these conditions. Third, the run is one you normally could complete within 11 hours and four, you are able to complete the run without exceeding your 14 or 70 hour limits. When using adverse weather, it is required to enter a note as much information as possible on your ELD or paper log. You cannot use adverse weather, adverse driving for delays you should have known about such as rush hour traffic and construction work areas. You can use it if there is an accident causing a road to close, so if, you, if so you must report the city and state you are in, the highway or road you are on, also followed by the mile marker. Loading and unloading delays are not covered by this standard, and if you do use adverse conditions, you are required to contact your safety associate to ensure compliance on your part. Thank you and drive safe.